It's the new year, so it's time for some new reads. And joining us today, who always has the best book recommendations, is our good friend Robin Call from Reading with Robin. Hello, Robin. Hello, Audrey, and happy new, happy year. new year. So happy, to, always happy to be here. It's oh. just such a lively, exciting, interesting place. Well, we always love when you're here because you do always come with not only the best authors, but also yeah. the best book recommendations, really, because so many of us are, are reading right now. We're inside, too, a lot of us kind of yes. hibernating. Yeah, and then we like time. to read outside, too. So whatever you suggest, I know people run and get. So you have so many beautiful covers, too, I have to tell right? you. Right? I mean, we do judge a book by its <laughs> yes, cover. I mean, it, that's why they spend so much time on the covers. And the thing about these books is people could, they're necessarily running because these books are not out yet. Yep. They can sort of be running in their minds. I love But they're going to have to... Um, Hold on, but they can pre-order. Pre-order. thing. You jot down these titles. Absolutely. Mention, um, these are all ones I wanted to bring. I had stacks and stacks. It was really oh, hard. Oh, I can't imagine how many books it's you have. It's hard to yes. say goodbye to the ones that you also want to bring. Absolutely. But you just bring some. And um, I brought something for everyone. We've got historical fiction. We've got contemporary fiction. We've got... Um, debut, which I love, um, Swift River Down by You by Essie Chambers. Oh, is, right over here. Yeah, that one comes out this summer, and it is a debut, which, you know, I this love. This is a beautiful cover, too. It is. Huh? They sometimes really spend a lot more energy on the covers, and I think it pays off. Right, right. You know, note to publishers. This is also a debut, a U.S. debut. Okay. The Switch. The Switch. It's a twisty thriller. Um, it's really good about two, it's what you might imagine, but not exactly. But not exactly. Yeah. So really like a page there. turner, literally. I was up. All, this one, I stayed up. No I had way. To know, yeah, you no, had I, to had, I had to know. It was really good. Can and I ask you a question? Is yeah. that how you judge books too? Like, like I can't put this book yes, down. Yes. I, you know what? It, yes, exactly. It's where you're out doing something else, and you're like, oh, I'm coming back to this. You gotta come back to this. Or in my case, sometimes, oh, it's in the car with me. I'll just pull over <laughs> I love and that. get a little extra. But yeah, when you just know that something's waiting for you that you can't wait to, and also to tell everybody about. Absolutely. So yeah, that's that's. Exactly how I judge. And you said rom coms. I mean, these this are one big is right now. Beautiful. Obviously, that's yes. a great cover. We were talking about this right before we came on. What a great cover this is. And it, it catches your attention. I mean, you would, and all really of does. Catherine Center's covers are like that. And this one is about um, a rom com writer who gets to meet. It's like they say, never meet your heroes. Yeah. She meets hers. Oh. And, it, and it's and it's like so it's a really writerly inside kind of thing. I love a good rom com. Yeah, I'm gonna have yeah, to read that one. That one will be, and I'm, it was probably optional. It'll probably be on the screen too. And you always have events, obviously, throughout the year. We can do you give have us a little events. bit of a tease as to what's coming up? I can. Queens of London, this crime syndicate, this women's crime syndicate in London. Um, so Heather Webb will be with us on Pub Day, February 6th at so Curiosity. Up. Yeah, Curiosity Store in Jamestown. And Heather writes amazing historical fiction. She does her research. It's always entertaining, and she. She's a lot of fun. So, oh my God, that's yes. very cool. I love and, that. And uh, Joe Piazza's coming on uh, uh, April 3rd. And that book, The Italian, uh, Sicilian Inheritance, sorry, is about loosely based on her great grandmother's murder in Sicily. No way. And, oh, yes. so this would be a good read as well. Absolutely. And Anne Hood, oh, Rhode Island Zone, who we love, love Anne. The Stolen Child. It takes us from 1970s Rhode Island, Providence to Italy and uh, secrets and. Um, awareness of like family issues oh. and you know I know all of the things that we love about reading so unbelievable books but in, in addition to that great events coming up yes we That's have and more, more events yeah the oh. authors are coming the authors are coming I love it yeah I love it well Robin we love having you thank you Audrey. we will have being here all of these titles too right over on our website and more information too on all these events and our good friend Robin right over at roadshow.com